this video tutorial, we're going to discuss how to construct a web-based notebook for use in this course. You can think of the web-based notebook as a personalized website that you're going to build using the Google Sites tool. After you're finished building your notebook, it should look something like this. Note here in the home page, there are a useful set of links that you can use to navigate the course. Here, for example, is a link to Giroux. Here is a link to Scratch. And here is a link to Greenfoot. Over in the center is a link to the West Hill Computer Science Home website. Here is a link to your Google Classroom, and up here on the right is a link to the course's online materials. At the bottom of the home page, there is a link to a shared calendar that is connected to the Google Classroom. When your instructor posts assignments on Google Classroom, they will automatically appear here in the calendar. On the left-hand side in this gray sidebar, are individual pages where you can store your code as you develop it in this course. For example, after you do your House with Sunrise project, you can simply click here, click on the pencil to edit, and cut and paste your code into this area here, and then save it. Let us now run through the process by which this website is created. Before starting the process of creating the web-based notebook, it is important to make sure that you are already signed on using your West Hill Google ID. Your West Hill Google ID will consist of a six number West Hill ID, followed by uh, Stanford Public Schools.org. Please be sure to be logged in into this numbered ID before beginning the process of creating your web based notebook. To create our web-based notebook, we first need to navigate over to Google Sites. Here is the home of my Google Sites page, and here listed are all the websites that have either been shared with me or that I have created. If you haven't created any websites in Google Sites so far, most likely you have a blank page right here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new website by clicking on this Create button here on the left. And we're going to use the classic sites. We're going to browse the gallery for more. And then we're going to find the template that's already been stored in the Google Template Gallery. But first, we're going to click on this Schools and Educations tab, which is the particular gallery where our template has been stored. Here in the search box, we're going to type in intro CS and we're going to hit the search button. This is the particular template we want, so after selecting it, we're going to hit the select button down here. Now, Google is asking us to name our site. So, for example, if your name is Bob Smith, you might type in Bob Smith's intro CS notebook. You may want to check with your instructor to see if she has some particular instructions for how to name your site. After clicking this recapture button down here, I'm going to hit the create button and create the website. Note that it might take several minutes for Google to process your request to create the site. I'm going to pause this video while this creation takes place. After Google is done constructing your website, you should see something that looks like this. We will now go through the process of replacing this banner with your picture, putting your name here, and deleting this line of text. For you to edit this sidebar here, you simply need to go to this wheel and click on Edit Site Layout. Once you do that, you'll see that this area will become highlighted on your left. Let's click on this first part here which will bring up this window and the first thing we will do is we will delete this existing logo. Now we're going to insert a picture from our computer in here. To do that I'm going to hit insert image and then I'm going to upload an image from my computer. Let's say this is my picture here and I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit open and I'm going to hit OK. Now I want a small version of this picture, so I'm going to hit the S button, and I'm all set there. Now I'm going to replace this line with my name, and I'm going to delete this last line here. 
and I'm going to hit the OK button. Let me just center this picture first. OK. And then you can see that my picture and my name have shown up over here now. After you are done configuring and editing your notebook, it is important to press the close button on the top right to save your work. Now that we have properly configured our notebook, the last thing we have to do is change the sharing permissions so that only we, the author, and your instructor are the only ones that are able to edit the notebook. To do that, we're going to click on this blue share button. And we're going to change the permissions in your notebook. Here, you can see that currently, you, the author, are going to be the only person who's going to be uh, able to write to the notebook. What you need to do is you need to add your instructor's emails to this list of people who can edit the notebook. You do that simply by putting your instructor's email addresses here and then hitting the send button down here. These are the instructor's emails if your instructor happens to be Mr. Sarkar. If you have a different instructor for this course, please ask your instructor for what email addresses to use for her.